Thank you. Someone lied to you about Prop 22. How the fuck would Uber know what drivers want if they don't have a voice on the job? How the fuck does Uber know what a majority of drivers want if they don't have a voice on the job? I quit my job in the middle of a pandemic last September with nothing lined up because fuck Uber. Fuck a company that would pit workers against another set of workers. Yep. Why were they coerce employees internally to work on Prop 22 propaganda? Why would a company that goes above and beyond for employees to give them work from home stipends, a living wage, wow. bonuses, like an endless supply of benefits, the flexibility to work whenever they want? to support their family, to support their kids. That's flexibility that full-time employees have. Why can't drivers have that? Hell yeah. All right. Drivers need to unite. Tech workers need to stand up and speak up when things are wrong. Yes. These gig companies yes. are writing and paying for their own law. They started with Prop 22 and they're, they're pushing this across the country and across the globe. We need to stop letting them dismantle labor rights. Like, how the fuck is there a gig company without gig workers? There is no Uber without drivers. Right. There is no work without drivers. Right. There is no DoorDash without drivers. Right. How do they know what employees want when they don't give employees a voice on the job? I am here today to stand in solidarity with you, striking for fair pay that is more than fucking yours. Meaningful yeah. representation on the job because that is more than fucking yours and would have been super useful before this pandemic started, oh, yeah. especially as it's raging on through our community. Yeah. It's time for all tech workers to organize. Software engineers, drivers need to rally together and demand an end to the second class employment status that restricts workers from having the equal benefits, fair pay, pay time off, and dignity that only some are afforded right now. Yeah. And to do that, we need the PRO Act now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there are challenges. Anytime drivers like yourselves are out here organizing and fighting for your rights that are inherently yours, it's time that you're not getting paid. Yep. That's where tech workers for tech workers come in. A mutual aid project that aims to rally other tech workers to provide mutual aid and support any way that we can for our fellow tech workers. When I brought up the issues that were going on at Uber with not doing enough for drivers, employers were scared to speak up because they, they were worried about our employer retaliating. Yep. These are the same concerns that drivers have. Yep. Employees were worried about their immigration status, they were worried about their, their rent, their, their mortgage, their right. kids. They were worried about the, the health of their kids during a pandemic that was raging through our communities. They have more in common with drivers than they think. Yep. They need to stand up and speak out on behalf of drivers who don't have a voice at work. Yeah. Yeah. What do we do when workers' rights are under attack? Yeah. What do we do when workers' rights are under attack? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.